Dago is a social bookmarking tool. In this video we're going to look at ways we can bookmark different websites, tag those websites and organize them in our account. So the first thing we're going to do is look at my library. In your library will be a list of all the bookmarks that you've made in your Dego account and they usually display with the most recent bookmark on the top of the list. There are several ways to add a bookmark to your Dego account. The most straightforward is simply by going to the left hand side toolbar and clicking the add button. A menu pops up and you can choose what you would like to add. So you also have the ability to add notes. So there's a note taking function within Dego and you can also add images. In this case we're going to add a new bookmark. When you've clicked on add a new bookmark you have a pop-up box like this one where you paste in the URL address of the website you'd like to save and you can give it a title. So you would simply copy the URL address from the website you'd like to save, paste it in, give it a title and then you create some tags. A tag is a descriptive keyword that you would use to describe the website that you're bookmarking. So it can be completely personal for personal reference, so anything that's going to make you remember what this website is about. You can add a description for the website. So for example, if you're bookmarking a website for an assignment, you might like to put a little description in the box here about what you might use it for in that assignment. And then you also have the possibility to add it to one of your lists. So we will look at creating your own list. So you can see I've got several here, so I might add it to read more later. And then once I've had all that done, you can also place a check mark beside read later. This will highlight the bookmark in bold so it looks unread. And then click add new bookmark. And as you can see, the bookmark immediately comes to the top of the list in my library. These boxes down here are the tags I placed on the bookmark. And what's great about the tags is, if I wanted something similar to this bookmark, I can click on one of these tags and anything with the same tag in my library will then come up in a new list. So as you can see, I don't even have to click on the bookmark to manage the functions. I can do it straight from my library page. So if I click edit, I can change the list that I've placed it in. I can add tags or remove tags and I can share to a group or I can delete. If I scroll down the library page, you can see underneath my items, I have a section called my tags. So these are all the tags that I have made on the bookmarks in my Dego library. If I expand them all, the number next to them tells you how many items are tagged with that particular term. So if you don't remember exactly the name of the website that you tagged or even in the list which you put it in, but you know that it's about Android phones, for example, you can go straight to that tag, click on it, and find the website that you've tagged and saved. Beneath the list of tags is your lists or where you can create a new list. So what a list does is if you want to organize your bookmarks, you can save certain bookmarks within a list for reference in the future. All you need to do is click create a new list, give the list a title, you can also customize the URL for that list so that even when you're not logged in you can find it. And you can also select whether you want anyone to be able to see it. So if they had the URL they could visit that list as well or they could search for it on Dego. Or if you only want to be able to see it. So if you place a check mark beside private only me, you will only be able to view this list when you're logged in. You can give the list a category and some keywords and a description and then create the list. Now we know this list is private because a little locked symbol will come up next to the list so that means no one else can see it. Next we'll look at another way to add bookmarks to your Dego library. It is slightly cumbersome to constantly be pasting URLs into your Dego account because it means that you have to navigate between web tabs or browser windows every time you want to save a bookmark. 
Thankfully, Dego has a solution. So if you click on Tools up here in the Tools section, you can either install the Dego toolbar. So if you're at home, you can install the Dego toolbar onto your browser and there'll always be a Dego toolbar at the top here. But what I like to use is the Deglet. Click on Deglet. All you have to do with the Deglet is drag this button up into your favorites bar. So it just sits up here. And every time you want to save a bookmark, all you need to do is click on the Deglet button in your browser favorites bar. So to bookmark a website without visiting the Dego website and logging in, you can simply click on the Dego button in your favorites bar. And a small menu will appear across the top of the page. And you can click bookmark. You then have the option menu just like you would when you save a bookmark within your Dego account. You can fill in tags. You can mark it private or unread. You can add it to a list. You can do anything that you're able to do on the Dego bookmark. Then all you have to do is save the bookmark all without navigating away from the page that you're on. One of the other functions of the Deglet button is the floating sticky note. So you click floating sticky note, you can actually add notations to the website. So you can just write in a little message or a description. This is great if you're working on an assignment and you found a particular part that you really want to make a note of. You can choose whether you want the note to be seen by any other Dego users or you can keep it private and then you click post. You can place the sticky note wherever you like on the page and every time you visit it you can click on that note and whatever you've written will pop up again and you can continue to add notes. There are some other great tools that you can use within Dego. It might be a nice idea to explore that at some point. You can add tag roles to your blog. You can have a widget that lets you lets other people add to their Dego account. So straight from your blog, they can click that widget and it will save your blog URL as a bookmark for them. And you can also import your delicious bookmarks and you can also save bookmarks from your Dego account to your delicious account at the same time. Finally, we'll just take a look at community. As we said on the blog, one of the best things about social bookmarking is the fact that you can see other people's bookmarks. So you get insight into what other people are saving, um, what other people find useful or effective. By clicking the community button, I can look at the, a list of the most recently added bookmarks and see what else other people are saving. I can also browse through uh, the tags at the side here. Here's a list of the most popular tags. So as you can see, the bigger the tag, the more bookmarks are saved with that tag. Just by clicking on one of those tags, I'm taken to a list that displays all the websites that have the tag technology, for example. Also make sure that you take a look at your privacy and account settings. Just by clicking on the drop down menu next to your username, in your account settings, you can decide how public or private you would like your Dego account to be. So you can actually have it set so that nobody can see the bookmarks that you create if you want to. As always, the best way to get to know the technology is to use it. So have a real play around with the kinds of things that you can do. Experiment with the sticky notes, the Deglet, install the browser button, create tags, look at other people's tags and have fun.